Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to carry on Malphite Jungle and consistently carry your games with them. Ah, baby! <laughs> Graves is getting wrecked. Alright, I'm going to ignite Mundo. We need to kill this guy. Got him with the Q. Come on! What an absolute clown fiesta. Good thing Malphite's level 1 is actually pretty good. We'll put a Q on the Draven. Gotta start putting damage on this guy. Gotta kite this out. Put a Q on him, and we win that. Let's go, boys. Sheesh, Malphite. <laughs> we can't even afford anything. All of that work for basically zero payoff. Now I just get to start late and I got uh, not even enough gold for a refill. That is tragic. But it's good for the people on my team who got the gold. Yeah, you don't usually want to tussle with Malphite's level 1. He's super tanky. Your Q does great damage and is a good slow. With that being said, you would normally want to start E because it's a lower cooldown than your Q. It does more damage and slows attack speed of all enemies. So starting your E is much better level 1 against your monsters. But in a weird scrappy level 1, typically your Q is better. Because of the slow on it, it helps you and your teammates single out a target. The reason why you don't start W is the cooldown is way too long. 12 seconds is kind of brutal. We'll go ahead and smite this get level 2. Typically, Malphite, you're looking to do full clears, and then you're going to be looking to do gank, a gank after it and then reset. I was just waiting for a granite shield there, only because didn't really get a great leash. Typically, you're not going to wait for granite shield if you have to wait more than 3 seconds. That's way, way too long to be waiting. At the very least, you can typically set up the camp, get into position, and get your Q in midair while your Granite Shield's about to come up. Up against a Graves, I wouldn't say it's a bad matchup. We definitely can't solo him level 3 or level 4. Most of your matchups on Malphite, you are going to be avoiding 1 versus 1 fights with enemies, and you're going to be focusing on just full clear, gank, make it to level 6. Once you're at 6 is where you start to shine. It's a better version of level 6 Amumu because displacements are the best CCs in the game. If they have a QSS or a cleanse, GP orange, it doesn't matter, they can't cleanse your knockup. However, they can cleanse auto attack double reset E, they can cleanse stuns like Abumu stuns, or snares, or silences. That's why Malphi R is so freaking tasty. Pretty healthy, they've made his passive a lower cooldown a while back. It's not 10 seconds anymore, I think it starts out at seven or eight. Auto attack W reset. You see how we get in position. We throw out Q. And then our granite shields back up. Just remember your W is a great auto attack reset. This clear is pretty slow. Especially since we didn't get a leash. And we also started late. We got to our camp like 10 seconds after it spawned. In general your full clear on Malphite isn't going to be fast. Playing this champion for its level 6. Ignite makes your ganks a lot better. It also gives you some security not to die to enemy invades. Having that extra bit of damage can cripple them. Most self-healing champions like Warwick's and Zaur auto attack base, so slowing their attack speed with the E and igniting them makes it to where they're not really healing at all. This might very well be worded. You should go for a Q max first. It's better for your ganks getting a bigger slow. We'll go ahead and get a Q on him. I don't think we need to ignite here. She may want to freeze this. People love being told what to do, JK. <laughs> I'm going to come back and gank this immediately, though. We'll go ahead and pick up a Dark Sill and as much of a Night Harvester as we can afford. Hopefully she doesn't just start randomly pushing it. Oh, this looks like she's going to TP back. I have Ignite. Mundo's going to want to try to stop the freeze. I think Fiora got an initial kill in that invade fight. That's so funny though that they wanted to invade us because they had Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank's level 1 really isn't that good. All it is is a hook and that's it. Like a Maokai level 1 is way better. It's the AoE CC and the knock. Our level 1 is definitely stronger. I'm glad we stacked up for it. If Yor still has it on a freeze, we'll go ahead and loop back around and gank. I also should have bought it in Oracles, but I didn't. Yeah, this guy's dead. Get him with the Q. Get Ignite on his head. W E. That's huge. She can keep the freeze, honestly. Let's see if Scuttle's up. I'm sitting on smite charges. Oh my gosh, hate to see that. Hilarious. 
The one downside to Moon Note top lane is you can't play him against Fiora and Vayne. Fiora and Vayne both have max health true damage. Trying to play any high HP tank versus that is kind of impossible. Super painful. This isn't a pretty full clear since we started on wraps here. So our Krugs are going to get left behind. It's just with the way the pathing was in our positioning. The Krugs are fairly disjointed since we did red into Krugs. So the gap between Raptors and Krugs here is kind of dramatic. But hey, sometimes it's about the gank. If you know you have an easy gank, if you're sitting on the freeze, we come back around and kill the Mundo. He didn't have time to ward. We already knew it wasn't warded. He didn't have flash from the initial start. It was too free to pass up. Per level, your Q slow goes up by 5%. That's not a lot, but you have to keep in mind you steal that. So for every percent you steal, you're getting that movement speed. So if it's a 30% slow, it's also a 30% speed up. Oh, this is free. He didn't knock him the right way, though. He needed to take that half a step. I get him with the Q. He slowed. I'll attack E. Looks like Maokai dies to turret. The secret to Maokai is his snare lasts about a second. So after you land your snare, you want to take a half a step behind the enemies, auto attack, Q reset, and knock them into your teammates. He didn't move after he landed his snare, so he kind of ended up knocking Draven away from us a little bit. Blitzcrank landed a good hook, kills him. Luckily, Kaisa hasn't thrown shutdown. She also has a CS lead somewhat. I could have stayed and helped her push the wave. It wasn't that many minions, though, so Draven's still going to miss a lot of that, especially if that cannon minion wasn't there to soak. I have R. We could definitely fight this here. Or at least kind of harass him and get first strike gold off of him. My smite's up. I think he realizes I'm level 6. Maybe he knows he shouldn't fight it. Go ahead and smite that. <clears throat> I don't feel like dying here. They have bot prior. My bot lane isn't here. Their bot lane can get to me before my bot lane can. So no reason to fight that all into the death. Mundo's looking gankable. Looking very juicy and thick. Ripe for the pickings. If you scrape his passive, it soaks any hard CC. He has a free Banshee's Veil. But when you scrape it, it, he takes a lot of damage. And then if he picks it up, he gets all that health back. Generally, when you scrape off his passive and it drops his canister, uh, it puts it closer to you than him. So usually you can get to it before him. So when we gank him here, he'll lose a lot of health when the R hits him. It's going to snap hard. Fiora might just kill him here, especially if he doesn't have flash. Ooh, almost. I should have oracles, by the way. I shouldn't be chilling on uh, what I have here. Having the stealth ward's pretty useless at this point. Fior should really just push. I'm in a weird spot. I doubt Graves invaded me. He doesn't necessarily know I'm over here. Mm. Alright, we'll kill top. I can tank it first. I have my R. Wait, why is Fior... Is she, what is she doing? That was so weird. She wanted to go for the Graves instead. That... That honestly didn't make any sense. I guess she wanted to kill Graves and then Mundo. <laughs> it is what it is. Oops, canceled my recall. Graves is pretty far behind. You can run Dark Harvest on uh, Balfight. Definitely works. Let's go ahead and buy a chunk. Where is it? Night Harvester. Sell that, pick up Potion, get Oracles. You don't want to go into debt unless it really makes sense to because it costs you 50 gold to go into debt and the debt limits peaked at 190 so if you go into debt more than three times you're literally this runes costing you gold if you're doing that so usually only do it to finish an important item or if it's a good power spike like you're about to hit six and you want to be as strong as possible his malphite has 90 percent ap scaling on his r which is insane because it's hardly a skill shot and it's aoe damage in a knockup one of the best abilities in the game, if not the best. Probably the best CC in the game with how much range it is. Everyone has, most people have such good computers and everyone's internet's gotten better to where skill shots are being sped up in League systematically. 
eventually Malphi R is going to be 20% faster than what it's at because people can react so fast with their flashes and dashes they didn't used to be able to do with their crappy computers and 40 FPS. Now, most people are playing at 80 FPS or higher and 80 FPS is enough to react to really fast stuff like Malphite Art out of bush coming at you. R's up. We should really be looking for gank right now. You don't typically need mana items on Malphite Jungle. Your jungle item should keep you <clears throat> field up. Go ahead and smite it. We have our Q, which is a slow and a speed up to where we don't necessarily need our smite to gank. All right, it's not warded. We'll come up behind him. Got him with the slow. Straighten a W. I didn't auto attack first because I wanted to get the damage on immediately. I'm trying to block his movement here. And down he goes. Had to use my R for the extra damage there. That's solid. I'm sitting on Night Harvester. I guess I could stay and push this real quick. Alright, I want to back. I was going to let Fjord get the wave real quick. Oh, and Mundo misses some, uh, some gold. He should miss full cannon plus some melees. Got the Night Harvester. And we also have four ultimate hunter stacks. I only haven't gotten it on the victor. At this point, we should be playing for dragons whenever R's up. You should never try to solo dragons on Malphite. It's a bad idea. You should always do it with teammates. And certainly, you shouldn't be doing dragon fights pre-6. Level 6 is when Malphite shines. Before you're level 6, it's all about making it to level 6 without dying. Which is why it's just full clear gank, you reset, and then your camp comes up right as you get there. Full clear gank, reset. Oh, that's sad. Might actually be able to kill him, though. I have Ignite. Night Harvester makes you go fast when you hit an enemy champion on a 30-second cooldown per champion. To where, if we can hit him with a Q, we'll go crazy fast. Kai'Sa lost her shutdown. She's not really more fed than Draven anymore. Maokai keeps knocking them away from us. It's really unfortunate how he's placing his knocks. He needs to walk just a half a step after he lands his snare and it would be 10 times better. Instead of pushing them away, he'd be pushing them towards us. Huge difference. I'm waiting for my passive to come up before I R for this. All right, we get the kill, but I'm gonna die now. That wasn't worth. I gave a 700 total gold shutdown there. And uh, lost some Dark Seal stacks as well. I didn't know Draven and Blitzcrank were going to be there that fast. That was my bad. I was trying to bait Victor to go in and poke my recall, which he did. But the Draven backup made that kind of bad for us. Once you're 10 stack Dark Seal, you should grab Mesh. Since I'm not, we'll go ahead and push into Boots. Their team is relatively squishy. AD carry in the Victor. Graves usually doesn't get early magic resist either. So we'll go ahead and go for Sorks or Lucids. Get this, and we'll get that. Biggest issue for us this game is Mundo. If Fiora doesn't focus him, our team doesn't have a good way to kill him. Our mid and Maokai and me aren't going to be able to do anything against him. It's just Kaisa and Fiora, really. Fiora went for Grasp. Ooh, Grasp is poopy on Fiora. It's a very... Uh, I guess it's a extremely consistent rune. I feel like in a matchup like Mundo, though, where he can't do anything against you, you don't need it. Grasp is a free sheen proc. It's a very good for playing a pokey war of attrition type of lane. I don't think she needs it versus the Mundo, though. Probably could have gotten away with something a little bit more stout. Oh, where'd your HP go, friend? Boom! Got him with Q, and we are out of there. I gotta run. Mundo's in the area. If I would have landed a double R there, that would have been a double kill. I missed my R on uh victor graves got destroyed though which which is crazy because look at our items right we're the same level right level nine one full item one full item pretty similar and shield bow is a big shield and we are still able to essentially one shot the graves i'm very happy with that malphite's level six and up is legit as long as you can hold pace and not fall super far behind from being a goofball. Draven doesn't have shield, but we went Essence Reaver. I should go bot lane with my R and one shot the Draven. 
Malphite R goes through everything, so if they're throwing like a Lux Morgana Snare at you, or a Draven Knock, or a Hook, you can go straight through it with your R. Of course, you'll still soak the damage. The CC itself won't affect you, though. You will be unfazed. We can hit this with a Q and go zoom zoom fast. Boom! Even though it's dead, we get still its movement speed. I probably don't need Farsight. I should have held on to my Oracles. I don't know if they saw me there. They very well might have. He's probably scared to step up. He doesn't want to get Blitz hooked. Oh, Draven, you're dead. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I saw a Graves right as I was about to go in. I got a little peek of him. It's not worth it. That's annoying. Can I one-shot this guy? He has some HP. He has HP on this and HP on... Whoa! Oblivion Orb doesn't give HP anymore. Okay, he's only got HP on the... Dorn's Ring. Draxol's our win con, 100%. I can kill Draven as long as I land R. Is this warded or something? Okay, it's obviously warded. That's annoying. It has to be. The way these guys are reacting, this is a bad fight. Trying to dive a Blitzcrank and a Shield Bow Graves is not what I want. Hey friend, we're gonna try to try to get his flash if I could get closer, but I can't. Ideally, you want to use your R at as close range as possible so the enemies can't dodge it and outplay it. I couldn't catch up to him though, because he's pretty fast himself. It's gonna take too long to where I had to lead him with R. Otherwise, you'd want to get literally as close as you can, and then no matter how good the reaction time is, they're not gonna react fast enough because they'll get there so quick. Fior should just come get this. I don't know why she's chasing kills. She, she, she's giving him free gold for no reason. Graves got 900 gold. Fior got 300 gold. Not a good trade when Graves had to base regardless there. Now we can't even rush down Dragon because there's no one here to really help me. I guess Kaisa's on her way. We'll go ahead and pull it out. He has Eclipse now. He's going to be slightly tankier if he can get his shield off before I R. Otherwise, I can still one-shot Draven with Smite and Ignite. Tap him down real fast. We will get a mesh this game. Just got to watch positioning so we don't die randomly. Victor mid. No real HP items or magic resist. He's killable. Oh, he's, he's dead here. I don't know what he's doing. I have my shield up as well. We get him to slow. Walk him down. Boom. Fiora, what was that, my dude? <laughs> she didn't help at all. She didn't get an assist. That was kind of funny. I don't have R, but it's only a one-minute cooldown right now. 67 seconds. Pretty dang short. Auto attack W reset. I'll be taking that. It's time to get mesh. Keep playing for dragons. Mundo's so far behind right now. I think he got soloed by Silas. Sheesh. I'm actually not sure if Silas has max health damage in his kit. I haven't played that champ very much. He's been coming a little bit more popular as a jungler lately. It's not worth it, though, for most elos. Iron through diamond. It's hard to get good value because he falls off so hard. He has an interesting level 3 power spike for ganks because he's so mobile. He's not easy to get away from. R's coming up. I got to get out onto the map. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Look at their items. Just Blitzcrank and uh, Mundo who are kind of tanky. Is this warded? Seems to be. And their whole team's missing. Someone's got to go match Mundo. He's going to get stuff for free because no one's over there. He's backing off. Yeah, you're not going to be able to keep up with me later, my dude. Are red jungle items slowing him? Plus Q slowing him down, speeding me up. 
plus night harvester speeding me up there's no way to keep up with this man even a hack room wouldn't be able to keep up once the queue lands i could kill victor here if there's no one else oh i think it's awarded i can't kill graves quite because he has shield bow which is 334 shield right now for him based on his level there's no one for us to really go for right now probably just best to reset no clue where anyone's at graves and victor are missing as much as i would love to stay with my r up i can back and get this and this and uh, this. I went into debt for that last one. That's why Futures Market is pretty solid. Instead of leaving base with a thousand, with like 1100 gold and being 150 gold short for uh, a needlessly large rod, we can buy it and head back out into the map with an extra 60 AP versus zero extra AP. Moving at 448, mesh extra movement speed, 10 plus stacks. Silas way too deep, feeding shutdown gold. He's losing perspective of our win con. It's not to get kills at this point. We're so far ahead. It's just about going to the objectives and taking them. It's an earth soul. It's probably the worst soul for our team because I didn't build tank. Uh, really, any drag soul would have been better than earth here. I mean, it certainly doesn't hurt, but no one on our team is really going to be stacking that much armor magic resists. I guess outside of Maokai, he seems to be going absolute full tank. You should definitely pick up Demonic though. Demonic does so much damage on him, even if he is full tank. The percent base damage on it's gonna shred Mundo and Blitz. Hopefully he buys it. Heck, I could even go Demonic. It's justifiable if we needed to kill Mundo. I'd just would rather go full AP to kill the Squishies. Hey, Draven. I don't think he realizes I'm here. Skadoosh! Boom! That's a one shot. Draven's two full item. Technically, I'm not even two full item. Mesh doesn't really count because it's cheap. So in terms of gold spent, we're very similar right now. He's two and a half. I'm kind of like, kind of two. But I'm Malphite and he's Draven, so he dies. He doesn't have any HP or magic resist items. Huh. Gonna run away. I obviously can't secure the kill there without R, so chasing is only risk and really no reward. Yeah, time to show up to Dragon. It's good that they're not getting the Mountain Souls or the Mountain Dragons. That would make Mundo crazy strong. He's 0 9. You've got to, guys, got to be careful not to die too much like that. He's not intentionally trying to die, it's just that he got camped by me. But if you die that much and you don't have any kills or assists, the automated punishment system will flag you as intentionally trying to lose, like the bot machine. Even if you don't get reported, it'll think you're trying to lose on purpose. So he needs to get some kills and assists. Otherwise, he'll literally get punished, even if nobody reports him. You see it even happen to high elo streamers automated. It's hilarious. It's hilarious kind of when it happens to streamers <laughs> just because you can see their reaction but for not streamers it's kind of sad because they're playing the game to have fun he's not trying to lose on purpose and he's just he's gonna get punished for it oh man hey draven <laughs> boom the counter play was intense there He spooked us, so I pooped my pants, and then he died. Legendary counterplay. Oh, it's time to get Robin on. Oh, are we doing Baron? I didn't even realize. R65 second cooldown. Kai's is shredding it, man. I'd say Robidon and Avoid Staff or Robidon Zanyas would be good. So we don't throw stacks. If we're slightly out of position or the enemies aren't doing their hardest to focus me with Zonis, my teammates can wipe them. The worst thing we could do right now is die. They'd get 900 gold total and I'd lose 10 mesh. Ooh, got the Q. He's probably dead now. Skadoosh. 
Boom. I don't really want to ignite him. Fjord should be able to keep up anyways. Boom. Malphite Q-Slow is so strong. Especially with the red jungle item, which is an additional 20% slow. To where we basically have a 60% slow and a 40% speed up. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I didn't ignite him, but it looks like my teammate did. Draven's in the area. I think his R came from over here. I'm not seeing him, though. Oh, there he is. Silas is going to eat him alive. Three levels up. Ooh, what? Draven's winning that? How? Silas was three levels up. Guess Draven has more gold spent somehow. Auto attack E, down he goes. That's how you do it, Silas. I didn't even have R. <laughs> if I had R, that would have been 10 times easier. Having to actually close the distance is painful. Maybe if Silas landed his skill shots, he wins that. Who knows? R is coming back up, so I don't really want to back here. 48 second cooldown, nearly 1k damage. All right, we'll take it. Kind of need oracles, though. It's always scary to be in enemy territory with no oracles. You could be stepping on wards and you don't even know it. So we got Mundo. It's really just hard still. We can kite him out with Qs. All right. Yeah, that was fast. Kaisa is doing some wild damage, plus she has some heal cut. Absolutely destroyed him. And I think in a lot of ways, Malphite's actually easier than Amumu since you don't have real skill shots. Amumu has to land Qs. Malphite doesn't have to land anything. His Qs point and click and then his R is easier to land than Amumu's skill shots. The main difference is Amumu is objectively better pre-6 for ganks. That's the undeniable difference it's pre-6 malphite ganks all he has is a slow really but amumu has potentially two stuns i'm in a weird spot here i'm probably on a ward right now as well they're playing super far back should just play for dragon here He's, they're not trying to lose and they're playing really defensive to where we can't just 5v5 them underneath their turret when they have double tanks, plus a lot of AoE damage. Oh, here comes Blitzcrank. At least I thought. Silas doesn't have Ignite, neither do I. Goodbye, Mundo. Silas did a lot of damage there. Dragon is up. We should definitely go for that. We don't have the minions mid to take mid turret. And Victor can clear waves. They have so much wave clear that without Baron buff, we can't really push the wave in. It's mainly the Victor. A little bit of Graves as well with his Qs. I think our W, yeah, our W gives us a lot of extra armor. 20% additional armor, which is giving us 30 right now. And it's increased to 60 while our passive is active, which it is. It's that little shield. Because of our W, even though we're going full AP, we are getting reasonable value out of Mountain Dragons, each giving 9% additional armor. Magic resist. Hey, friend. He turns to auto me, and then we all in him. Down he goes. It's the best time to use a skill shot is when they're standing still. So even if he had flash, he was less likely to cast it at that moment since he was clicking on me and waiting for his auto to go off. Even if I missed R though, he was going to die. As long as I got close enough to land E for 50% attack speed slow per 3 seconds is really high. R is on a 48 second cooldown. All right. I like it. The nice thing about playing Malphite jungle is you can get away with playing him AP. All you need is one tank on your team or one frontliner. We have one tank plus two kind of bruisers. But if you play Malphite top, a lot of the time your team will go full squishy. They expect you to go tank and you can't really play him full AP when your team's full squishy. It's too risky. I, I'm kind of playing more like a more useful version of Fizz essentially. 
Uh, yuck. Oh, that hit. Boom! Look at that movement speed. 624. I was moving 624 there for a second, and then it went down to 554. So once the Night Harvester speed up, we're off. This is a bad fight. People just need to back up. I can get away. Kaisa is too low on health. We can't fight there. One victor laser and she's dead. She needs to just reset. She doesn't even have life still. Draven has just as many items as I do. That's the thing about playing for kills. It's pointless. You see how like fed top, fed mid. Neither one of them have shutdowns because they've already given shutdown. Even though we have like four times their kills right now. In terms of gold spent, we're really not that far ahead. Even even Kaisa's Giga Fed CS wise and kill wise, and she only has 350 bonus shutdown gold on her head. It's pretty small. Oh, that almost got me. Wow, I would have had R way. Yep, it's time to Baron. Baron's not really as good as Dragons. We kind of need it though against the Victor. You can perma clear waves with one laser. Go ahead and lay that right there. I have a lot of blue wards on the map right now. Many blue wards. R is doing 939. Once it's max, still it'll be doing over a thousand. And the cooldown will go down to 45 versus. Wait. Oh, it already is level three. What am I talking about? For some, for some reason, I thought it was only level two there. Wait a minute. Goes up by 100 per level. That's actually not that much for an ultimate. The cooldown does get considerably lower, though. Yeah, later Blitzcrank. Not interested, buddy. Granite Shield's doing 241. It gets bigger the more HP you have. It's not that big here in the late game since <clears throat> we kind of just went full AP. Let's do a tank. Fior's on the split. I should have pushed bot wave there. It's my bad. They're trying to get our split pusher, now they're going to lose turret for it. He's trying to hook me when I go in for the auto. Gotta watch my spacing. Through the queue, it didn't get to land, but I still get the movement speed, even though he died before I hit. That's kind of interesting. Hey, Graves. Just sit on that queue, buddy. Graves doesn't have any magic resist. <laughs> Just full carry build. That is a decent R. Oh, wait. I didn't see Draven. Come on, baby. It's the Q. Ow. There it is. That's GG's. I literally didn't see Draven. I thought that was my teammate. And that's it. Whoa! We'll look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the number two damage dealt in the game. Fiora had number one primarily off of mulching the Mundo over and over with her max health damage, but still pretty good. I'm happy with our damage dealt. For damage taken, middle of the pack, same as most of the players in the game. For self mitigated, yeah, our pass is boosting us up there, getting mulched. For runes, high value. First strike and dark harvest, it's a bit of a toss up. Overall, I'd say first strike's more valuable because it will objectively help you hit your first item faster. So first strike, I'd say slightly edges out dark harvest. And the rest of the runes, pretty high value. It's mainly about first strike ultimate hunter. Everything else is just supplement your early mid game, really. Malphite jungle, bit of a low key secret carry. Just make it to level 6 without dying. Full clear gank, full clear gank. And then you can start winning dragon fights and having gnarly ganks. Ignite is, I think, very important though. Otherwise, you'll get invaded constantly by whether it's an Evelyn, a Zin Zhao, a Warwick. And there's nothing you can do with Ignite. If you have equal or more HP than them in particular, you know you have the chance and you can turn it on them or whatever. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.